Okay, just playing the 3010, just warming up for the final game in the autumn chess season match. Just making sure I've got the camera set up, ready for this for the occasion. Let's castle and just see how it looks. Make sure it works. Okay, let's um, push and block the pawn. So I can feel the energy of the opponent wanting to come and attack. Let's just x-ray through to the queen. So lessons learned from the recent over the board games and the review and analysis and then the action applied is really just to keep the attack conscious going. Because we're not bad at it. We just don't want to fall into the aspect of forgetting about our blind spots, you know, the back end. So we're good at attacking, but we're also, we were bad at leaving gaping holes. We're going to attack the bishop. So it's been safe in the attack. Knight's attacking the bishop now. It's got no protection at the moment. moved out of the way and knight could attack let's just bring the rook onto the open file let's bring the bishop back probably looking for an exchange with the bishop if this pawn drops down so we don't need to rush it is like a 30 minute 10 second game let's sort of just attack the bishop which pawn do we take with the computer probably would take with this one doesn't like favoring this opening and the structure that we've got, I don't think it warrants actually opening on the this file, on the F file, because the rook is no longer there. If the rook was still there, I would have gone for that. So now they're making their way towards our King Gary. We know what the answer to chess is. So I'm going to bring... Oh, man. Just going to say, I'm going to bring this knight here to attack this knight. And the queen is also on this knight. So it's like a double attack. Have a quick look at the analysis. In fact, just, just press the button. All right, so it's actually saying bring the knight here. I'm not a fan of that. I don't know what that's doing. Uh, so if we had gone here, would that have been a negative? No, it's not a big negative. It's plus one. So we were expecting them to take. And I was going to take with my knight, actually. I was going to take with the knight. Obviously, it's going to escape. Okay, so it's not majorly. We weren't going to get the knight anyway, but you never know. The opponent may not have played it that way, and that's probably why they gave up. Interesting time, so I feel fairly happy with the attacking process so far. Excellent. Practice the attacking, but um, we're more experienced now, so the attacks will be, well, we want to have them supported and we want to cover our back end the more times we keep on repeating it and repeating it it starts going into the psychology i'm hoping anyway let's just capture the pawn here so with the answer process that we've been working on and um, with the uh, mantra that we have and um, we should be okay um what i'm gonna do is just bring pieces out Probably looking maybe, but then it's losing development of his minor pieces, etc. So I think that's probably what they're thinking of doing, but... Oh, they've moved the queen. Damn. Okay, so we could go here, grabbing a pawn. Let's grab the pawn because the bishop is x-raying through to the queen. Okay, monster attack or weak. Hmm. Small piece attacking a higher piece. Maybe no, don't give up the queen just yet. Probably go for a checkmate if he forgets himself. And they have forgotten themselves. Excellent. Okay, I think we're needing a tough game here because this tournament game is not going to be that easy. Let's just um, attack the palm. And let's just bring the knight out supporting the palm. So 
So, oh my gosh. Well, it might be a set play thing. Just hang fire, hang fire. Or the Major's going to resign now. They're not resigning. Okay, let's bring the Bishop through and attack the Knight. Making space for Castling. They're just giving pieces up. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, people. No. Okay, so we're going to just capture... Have, have they resigned? No, they've not resigned. They're on our knight. Let's support the knight with the pawn. And like I say, we probably need a tougher game than the ones we've had before. And this guy's just giving up pieces. Queen's attacking, so we can bring the queen back down, maybe to here. Just leaning on this pawn a little bit. There might be method in the madness, just because they've given up pieces doesn't mean much. Oh, look at that beautiful strike. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Could bring the bishop here attacking the queen, attacking the higher piece, doing a bit of a morphy. But I think he's just going to go here because he's going to want to keep the pressure. Or in fact, he might even come here and attack our bishop. Right. Okay. So this is the game we wanted. I have to see how the follow on from that. Oh, well, they've gone a different way. And... Shall we attack here and then attack the king with a check on the king? They're getting the bishop, so they get the minor piece back, which is quite clever. Let's put the check on the king, disturb him. So he has to move the king, but then he's probably going to have to move here. Yeah, because the check was going to be on. We can go for his queen. Let's go for his queen. Attacking the pawn here with the knight. Oh, this is very interesting. Okay, this is a bit tough now. I think we're... We're down a pawn here, down two now. So we could go for his rook, or we could take the pawn off the board here because it's getting highly elevated. Let's take this pawn and let's get castled if we can. Excellent, right, nice tough game. So he's looking to, well, it's not doubling the pawns. I think I'm fairly comfortable with that. Queen side or king side castling. Probably looks safer on the king side a little bit. Yep, yeah, okay. He's going for the trade down. He's going for the trade down there plus one, but hopefully we can try and improve our position. Uh, oh, okay. No, let's grab the rook. Let's hit the king. Let's hit the king again. Has to go back or goes here, whichever. Get the knight involved. Bishop's going to greedy munch the pawn. Got space with the bishop to put a check on the king. So not doing that. So we could go here, but then we're going to lose the rook. So we have to be very careful here. Let's bring the knight up. Trying to condense his area. Now he's attacking our knight. He's going for a back rank checkmate really, isn't he? Mm -hmm. So we could put a check on and get their bishop off as well, but also move the pawn at the same time. So let's put the check on the king and then move this pawn up or one of these pawns to give the king some breathing space if we need to. Yeah, we do need to. No, we don't actually. The bishop is actually protecting this square. So we could go ahead and just take this bishop with a check and then attack the rook with the rook. So anything else we could go no don't do that we'll get let's go here and attack the rook so we're now two minor pieces up based on pos uh, positional play and appropriate targeting and is there any magic yet yeah, the bishop can put a check on the king and the king has to move here he's got no other space then the rook can come here and i think that's oh it's not checkmate per se let's put the check on see how it looks 
Rook comes here, then he can move there, but then we can get his Rook off the board coming back. Yep. Let's go here with the check. And then come here with the check. And then that's check. Oh, I thought it was checkmate. Does he escape? Oh, no, he's got that close together thing. Oh, attacking all the pieces. Oh, they've resigned. Excellent.